Hey, so this uh, video shit is like not for YouTube. It's uh, it's for me. And I'm just so fed up. I I like <laughs> the spirit spoke to me just before I did this, and I was feeling so awkward and. It's just this whole situation, the situations has been so fucking awkward for me. Um, I mean, not enough for me to like not do it. Uh, it's good to evaluate yourself and put yourself to the next level because that's what's going to put myself at the next level. But the spirit was saying to me, you know, you don't have to fucking do this. You don't have to put yourself out there. <laughs> you don't... You, you, <laughs> You don't have to say that, oh, I just, this is, uh, you know, I work hard and enough to make what I make and, like, <laughs> it's, uh, man, it's like, I don't have to prove myself to fucking anybody. Like, who, I don't give a fuck who you are. Um, because... I mean, like, I'm just a guy on the internet, like, uh, as far as this is concerned, like, right now, like, I think in about a year, um, people are going to see me less than a year, less than a year, like six months, people are going to see me a lot differently, uh, the way I speak, what I'm doing here, why I'm here, why would I do this to myself, like, I'm just some average Joe in the world no I'm not and that's the fucking thing <clears throat> so my cat is all like meowing at me and the spirits like you know if you don't want to you don't fucking have to I mean it's good for you to encourage yourself um, in certain ways but I wanted to show some pictures of myself just like I was thinking Let's just do a video before I go to the next level here of what's I'm gonna talk about what's happening here. I mean I guess this is for everyone's entertainment, but fuck your entertainment, because this is a person's real life. This is not just like <laughs> I've I've even considered suicide lately, but that I'm not gonna take that route, I'm not gonna go down that, that way because I've worked too hard to be where I'm at now just to have it taken from me <clears throat> and uh, I got my water bottle here take a swig and it's like I'll joke around sometimes and uh, just kind of shoot the ship but this one is kind of taking a, like a deeper look into who I am and I don't you know people don't need to see me and I'm not, it's not that I'm like an ugly guy or anything, but my, I've been bashed so bad, so badly. <laughs> and like, you can fuck millions of chicks, <laughs> but you still don't ever get any love. And like, I, I, I've never, I, I haven't fucked millions of chicks, but obviously, <laughs> it's so stupid. People are like, yeah, I fucked a hundred chicks. And like, maybe they did, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but, um, the point is, is, uh, I, uh, I need to get over it, you know, like, I don't, like, who gives a fuck, like I said, just, who gives a fuck about what anybody thinks about me, you know, so, I just kind of wanted to, I was just thinking, I was like, let, let's just, like, look at a picture of me, a couple of pictures of me, and just, like, talk, and, you know, I know that there's gonna be a couple people be like, <clears throat> Hey man, you're cool, you know, like or whatever, whatever. I mean, I mean, if you want to talk shit, you, know, you can get blocked on my channel. It's fine. Like fuck, I've been through it, you know. <laughs> I've been through with this fucking shit, and I'm just gonna stick to it because I'm just I'm. This is a part of the learning process. This is a process for me. This is not the beginning. This is so far from the beginning. It's like I'm doing it Quentin Tarantino style. You know, we're gonna start. Like, I guess, like, halfway through, and then we'll go to the beginning, and then we'll go to the end, and then you can kind of do it like that, if you know what I'm talking about. If you're a Quentin Tarantino fan, you know how he style a movie he does. 
It was like a commentary, a, a narration of my myself, my existence. 41 years old. You know, people say I look younger than that, so it's like I get a little bit pissed off about that. Yeah, I'm like, oh, no, you're not. You're like 32 or 27 or whatever. But so this camera that kind of sucks here. Um, first of all, I just wanted to show a picture. Um, <laughs> And, I mean, why not? Let's just, I've already gone there, let's, let's just dive into it deeper, a little more deeper, to the person that I am. And there's me on like a normal day. This camera fucking sucks. There's me on a normal day. He's not, a, he's not a bad looking guy. Looks cool, he's a little bit pissed off, but hey. So, I mean, you can pause it, you can look at it. <laughs> Or no, yeah, we got Medusa there, so there's a there's a thing I want to talk about Medusa. You know, uh, careful what you're looking at, careful who you're looking at, cause it might be fucking deceiving as fuck. You know, don't um, don't be so deceived. Don't don't just uh, judge a book by its cover. He's like getting ready for a fucking battle, a fucking wizard. It's the fucking wizard, bro. He's gonna fucking do some spells, and you might not see it coming. <laughs> I don't know, like, oh, well, I'm actually pretty pissed off kind of a guy. I'm not too happy right now. I'm not. I actually don't really like anybody. <laughs> like, I like to be nice. I'd like to, I'd really like to have friends, perhaps, but, you know, really, you know, who's... Who's really your friend, right? Who's really, who's really your friend? Like, you can just stare at that guy. Like, he is a, <laughs> he's pretty pissed. I would say he's pretty, I'm pretty pissed. I'm pretty pissed off about life. Because life isn't fair. Like, who gives a fuck? You don't give, at all. you give, Sabrina gives a fuck. Jeopardy gives a fuck. You know, I'm not talking to, like, certain individuals here. I'm kind of talking in general. Like, to the whole fucking world. Like, fuck you, world. And what you put me through. But, hey. I'm here today. I learned a fucking lesson in my life. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep learning, because why would I just stop now? Like, why would I stop fucking now? That would be stupid. <laughs> and I would just be like, just start now, like, over again? Like, okay, so, I want to talk about this. So, check that out. Looks like I've been in a fight, right? Yeah. I've been in a fight my whole fucking life. And, uh... I gotta, like, stuff it all inside of me, and I'm like, a uh, spontaneous combustion. I am spontaneous combustion, and that's what it feels like. Like, if I did something, like, everything would just explode. <laughs> And it's like, well, you can't talk about shit on YouTube. You can't talk about your fucking, like, I want to fucking take my neighbor's faces and just pile drive them all into the fucking, into the ground, into dust, turn their fucking heads into dust. Um, and, uh, cause I'm like, you know, uh, uh, I would be evicted. I would go to jail. Uh, my family is like a religious fanatic. So it's like, I would be fucked. Like, oh, you fucking murdered somebody? <laughs> murdered somebody? Uh, we're just talking hypothetical here, right? And I would probably I would lose my cat. Uh, I would lose everything. <laughs> I would lose it all. So if I did, just, let's talk about me. We're talking about me here. And if I, if I did anything, I have no one to actually back me up to to be like okay so you're gonna do some time I'll take care of your cat and then you'll come back and it's fine you know you got a spouse or somebody or a roommate that you know a friend that like you can trust or I got nobody for, for that so and it's like and I've been here before so talking about time portals and changing your past changing your future like you I can't I gotta be mature I gotta do this maturely I gotta think about this why I gotta be wise about this because if I'm not
you can lose it in the blink of an eye. And then you got nothing, and then might as well just take my, might as well just fucking kill myself. I mean, then fucking what, all this patience I've had is for nothing. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ, no wonder why I fucking drink so much. I'm just trying to fucking keep it copacetic, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, just keep it fucking, yo, let's keep it real. You know, we're gonna keep it real. Like, this ain't real. Like, this is just for the time being, till I can, like, like, be more empowered. Like, I am so with it. I am so there. I, I, I know myself so well. And I know, other, the thing is, I know other people's psychology, like, so even better. <coughs> Not better than myself, but I know myself, and there's yourself, and then there's the fucking world. I know the world's psychology. I know the laws. I know society. I know what they're gonna do. I know what they're gonna say. It's always the same fucking bullshit. <laughs> it's never anything clever. I fuck... This is like... <laughs> They will, all they will, all people will do is reduce you into something, into something that they think is what you are, and it, it's just, it ain't what it is. So, having said that, um, you know, mostly I'm just trying to keep it together. It's like, mostly I'm just, like, I do think about suicide a lot. I'm never going to do it. Like, I'm never going to, I don't ever want to. Uh, but it's always there. It's always there. Like... It's like, it's escapism. It's like something you can think of, like, oh, I could just kill myself, like, and that feels better. And I, but that doesn't feel better. It's like, it's the same routine. You go over and over and over and over. It's the same fucking depression. I'm fighting, I've been fighting depression my whole life. And I would have been able to get out of depression. Get out of this fucking hole that I'm like, just barely getting out of now. And so it was like, all that somebody would have to do was just, like, people can say whatever the fuck they want online. I don't care. My life is so much bigger and better than fucking some fucking video, man. And, but I mean, the video here you're, you're listening to, uh, whoever it is, I'm just, whoever I'm speaking to right now, uh, just this is for myself. This is for, this is therapy for myself. Really, it is. And so I'm putting myself out there um, because I know that I'm worth it, you know? You know that you're, you know who you are, like a, a special individual. You're not them. You're not these groups, these cliques of fucking people that are brainless. They look at like, dude. <laughs> so I have like, I want to make some banana bread, right? I just haven't got, gotten around to it. Maybe I'll make a video of making banana bread. I like banana bread. So anyway, I put a bunch of bananas <laughs> in, like, the ones I didn't eat, the ones that went brown, and put them in the freezer, right? And so it's like these fucking faggots, dude. And, I'm and like, this is just the beginning of these fucking videos. It's like, you will see more. Like, you might be like, hmm, what, what's going on with this guy in this guy's life? <laughs> like, so, I fucking, they've always put garbage at my door. I've lived here for two two years and like four months, okay? So, they've always slammed the doors at 2 a.m. And I've made complaints and I've called the RCMP and i got to be that guy. So, I'm that guy. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. And so, it's like, so now I'm like throwing bananas down the fucking hall to these fucking monkeys, man. And dude, I'm not a racist. Um, I'm feeling racist. <laughs> it's like, it's, it, to me, it's a fucking joke. Because it's like, they, they, they litter at my door. Lit literally, someone came to my door and sounded like they shit their fucking pants. <laughs> okay. And I guess they thought that was funny. I guess they heard that, I like, I fart sometimes in my apartment. So it's like, it's eye for an eye now. It's it's a, like, what, tit for tat? <laughs> tit, tits for tits? Bro? <laughs> so, I'm f so I threw a banana down the hallway. It landed at their fucking door. It's gone now. I guess they ate it. Monkeys like bananas. I, The spirit told me. There's like, hey, dude, just throw a fucking one of those bananas. I got a bunch of them. I got a dozen of them frozen in my freezer. <laughs> so, 
Then I threw another one at their car. I didn't hit their car. God sakes, I did not. Fucking Christ sakes, I did not hit their car. But there's one by their car, and there's going to be a couple more frozen bananas down the hallway. They love them. Monkey, don't monkeys like bananas? I mean, tell me in the comments. Do or do they not? Who's got, who's got the balls to tell me that, yes, sir, monkeys do like bananas, and that's why they took it and ate it. And trust me, these bananas are like, they were brown, and they were going downtown, let me tell you. But, you know, if you, they're, they would, they'd be good for banana bread. Like, you put them in the freezer. And, so anyway, <laughs> it'll be perfect. We'll make a banana bread video sometimes. I don't know. Fucking, who, who knows? <laughs> okay, so. <clears throat> All right, well. Okay, so that's made me a little bit giggly. But it's hilarious. <laughs> Oh man, we hey we'll do that. We'll do a live banana throwing. We should. We should do that. Like, give me some suggestions or something. Somebody, so who's ever out there? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, but yeah. So just um, <laughs> on top of it with the frozen banana. That was hilarious. By the way, I laughed the rest of the fucking morning, and I was drunk, and it was perfect. But they've like, so people here have like really, like, and I'll do another video here soon. And they've like destroyed this place. It's disgusting. This, they're like, when they, like, I'll show you. <laughs> they've totally fucked this place up. And I've told the management, and I'm going to keep telling the management, I'm going to put this, I'm going to dox this place. And hopefully I don't have to dox the management because they're going to be involved in a fucking crime. These people are criminals. So somebody's got to do something, and that somebody is me. And I've been through it, and like, you saw the picture of me, hey, that's that's who I am. I'm just a guy. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing any more pictures or anything. That was just kind of for fun for me. Um, and for you, you know, I don't know. It's a face. It's a face in the crowd. Like, when you look at people in the crowd, like, who the fuck are they as individuals? Most of them are fucking monkeys, right? And, uh... My daughter is mulatto. Her mom was half black. And her mom was Spanish and her dad was black, so... I'm really so far beyond racism. It's hilarious, but it's such an ugly thing, right? To be racist, to actually be a racist against somebody, I guess it's more prejudice, but you can still be racist against somebody. You don't like you don't like who their skin or where they look. That's that's prejudice. That's racist. And that's these are the kind of feelings I'm dealing with here. <sighs> I got pasties. Uh, and I've been a nervous wreck. <clears throat> I've been a fucking nervous fucking wreck. And so, I, I don't know, I'm just like talking right now. Um, <laughs> like, I have gone completely nuts here, too. And I've been evicted from here. I went to court. I fought it. <laughs> Fuck them. I'm going to stay here until everything is dealt with. And then I can move on peacefully, like a fucking, like a good ghost. <laughs> like when a ghost has unresolved, a spirit has unresolved issues. <clears throat> That's what's happening here. My whole life is like an unresolved issue. So if I took my life prematurely, maybe when I'm like 60, I don't know. I'll shoot myself in the head when I'm fucking 60. <laughs> How about it? Don't hold me to it. But, uh, hey, maybe I'll just have a drug overdose before then. Yeah, cool. You know, I'm like, fuck. Like, where's my life headed? I don't, like, <laughs> I'm doing better than I was, but I'm, I'm pretty fucking uh, pissed off. <laughs> pretty angry person. And I don't want to live the rest of my life like that. I don't want to be this angry motherfucker that wants to fucking kill somebody, you know? That's a bad feeling. That's like, that's like an ugly feeling. 
There's just so many fucking ugly people here. Their feelings are just ugly, and I just, I'm not like that. I'm like, you know, I guess that's why people look at me like I'm younger, or maybe I look naive. I'm like, holy shit, dude, if you know the shit that I've been through, like, I've been to fucking jail, buddy, like, I've fucking seen the streets, I've seen, I've seen a fucking mean underbelly, okay? Like, fuck, dude, like, I'm getting anxious right now, just fucking talking about it. <sighs> Uh, okay, so, fuck, okay, yeah, I guess I've said some shit here, and, uh, hey, thank you to anybody that's listening, that, that's hearing me out, like, I kind of need somebody to listen, I, I'm sick and tired of talking to counselors, like, it's just stupid bullshit, I just kind of need to talk to myself, really, I'm talking to myself, um, and, I'm, you know, you're your own best counselor. Because you know yourself. You, these fucking shrinks don't fucking know you. And most of the time, it's like they want to fucking bring you down to, like, their level or what they think that you should be at. Because, and they don't know your fucking life. They, they only see you right now in, like, a stupid fucking picture. So I want you to judge that picture and, like, who the fuck is this goof? And, like, you know, like, fuck, dude. Like, you could be messing with Satan himself. And you'll fucking know. You fucking stupid motherfucker. That's it. Fucking someone's gonna, gonna come up behind you and BAM! Fucking <laughs> pop your head off like a fucking dandelion, you know? Like, your mama had a baby and her fucking baby's head popped off. <laughs> you know, so... Fuck, like... <laughs> people think... They can fuck with you, and fuck with you, and fuck with you, and fuck with you, and fuck with you, until you're dead, and you you don't exist anymore. Like that, the IQ of that is just phenomenal, and you are such a fucking peasant. You must have grown up in the, in the fucking ditch to be that stupid of a person. But most people are just stupid motherfuckers these days. And they have the lowest of IQ. They might have some kind of a, a good look or something. Or they got something going for them. They got lots of friends and family to back them up. But hey, a real man does it on his own. Real man doesn't look to people. You know, you need friends and family to help back you up sometimes. But... As far as life is concerned, man, if you if you ain't holding your own, and you're just a little fucking prick that's going around making life hard for somebody else, <laughs> well then you're cursed, bro. You are fucking cursed. <laughs>